So the next step after we verified correct behavior of the application is we would want to generate hardware from our C code. And in just a few moments, we'll take that hardware uh, after it's been synthesized, placed, and routed, and we'll run that on the uh, Pico Spartan board. So once again, we've got a temper to normal uh, process here. We've also got the GenRand uh, process here, two subroutines in C communicating with data streams. We choose a platform support package. In this case, the uh, Pico E14, E16 platform support package is what we will use to generate the necessary uh, outputs that are compatible with that Sparta board. Uh, this output will be generated in the form of VHDL source files as well as some other files that are used on the software and hardware side of this application uh, in the final implementation. Let's generate the, uh, the hardware here. I click the Generate HDL button. It runs a, uh, a compiler, preprocessor, compiler, the, interact, uh, the optimizer. It then generates uh, HDL specifically for the Pico computing uh, platform, and it's finished that. Uh, we can take a quick look at the HDL that was generated. If we uh, go into the hardware directory, we can see there's a number of VHDL files that have been generated for us by the compiler. If I push into the uh, into this comp, we can get right down into the details of what was generated by this compiler. First, we see the uh, initialization uh, RAMs being generated here, so we have a number of RAMs. Uh, these would be for our seed values of the random numbers, presumably. Uh, we can also see that the compiler is taking advantage of the Xilinx floating point libraries here when it generates the, uh, uh, the logic. Scrolling down further, we should find entities and architectures for each of these uh, processes, the random number generation, GenRAN process, as well as the temper to normal. I'll just see if I can find uh, temper to normal here. There it is. Entity temper to normal is, so there's our temper function. We can scroll down, and we can see that uh, it's generating hardware in a state machine design format, actually not too different from what a human would have written when describing this application. Of course, the, some of the variable, name, variable names have been uh, munged a bit, but we can actually relate this generated HDL right back to the code in the uh, original C code. Here, for example, is block one, stage three of a pipeline. Uh, there's a multiply happening in here. That's that uh, floating point multiply. Let's see if we can find that in the original C code. We can do that by using the Stage Master Explorer tool. Let's us navigate, in this case, into temper to normal. We can find that uh, inner pipeline. We can find stage two. And in fact, we can find exactly where that multiply was happening there, stage three of that pipeline. And again, the text here is probably a bit, see, a bit small to see uh, in the presentation here. But what we're looking at is the optimizer's internal view of this block of code, which is the same block of code that we can identify in our, uh, in our C code for temper to normal right here. So in that way, we can, we can very easily connect the generated hardware in the form of VHDL back to the original C code. We can also use that tool I had up a moment ago to really get a good idea of the types of pipelines and hardware that's being generated. You can see here, for example, the, the pipeline that we have highlighted has a latency of seven cycles in the inner code loop, but it has a throughput rate of one. So we've got a perfect pipeline. We'll get very high throughput in this temper to normal process. If we want to see uh, even more details, we can generate this pipeline graph. It gives us an idea of the kind of hardware structures that are being built for this pipelined loop. It's a very useful tool for interactive optimization of these types of complex algorithms. Um, I think at this point, we will pause a moment, we'll set up the hardware, and we'll then show you how, the, uh, how this random number generation code has been implemented on the Sparta card.